How's it going, everyone? It's Codexual, back with another Ubuntu video. I'm hoping that you're enjoying the series so far. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about securing our server and our web server as well. Um, right now, as you can see, we have our site up. And if we just refresh it, so right now we're on localhost, and we're also using the um, our IP address to connect towards the website. So let's pretend that this is live everyone can view the site um, everyone can go to it just fine so let's just say you happen to run in one of those people who is you know have those computer skills and j is just a complete dick so right now we're on our machine and we're just hacking and doing all this fun stuff so right now the site's live as you can see the site's live um, I'm going to be taking down the website with a DDoS or a DOS attack. Um, a DOS DOS um, is a singular attack for coming from one machine. If it's a DDoS, means it's multiple attacks coming from multiple machines. Well, attack coming from multiple machines. So, um, right now we're using the uh, slow loss, and um, we're going to open up. We have a couple of uh, sites opened up, so that's just pinged right there I should say a couple of terminals opened up sorry now once we go towards the site it's not loading up and we can move over towards our um, our main machine which you know is hosting everything and let's uh, bring that up and refresh that's not loading up that's not loading up so we're being dosed how do we stop a DOS attack um, going towards a web server? So, first things first, we want to check out what connection is coming through. So we're going to right click and copy, paste that in into our terminal, and go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, there is multiple threads of the attack that's going through. That's what slow loris does. It's basically, it's a sin flood. Um, a sin, um, a sin flood, is a type of HTTP attack going against your Apache server, and it does. It takes um, the slow loris or a sin flood takes so many threads that it's just trying, it's trying, it's trying, and um, it's taking up all of the space, all the slots. And right now, we don't even have a slot that's going in. So once we uh, find out who is attacking us, and if you see multiple IPs, then you're being a DDoS attack. So there's multiple machines attacking you. Right now, we're just fortunate. It's just one machine, my other machine, that's attacking me. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to copy down the IP address, which is that's actually the IP. Um, this is my local IP. So, you know, if I type in if config right there, that's our local machine IP. And um, back to here, we want, that's the attacker. We want to stop the attack. So I will have all these commands available and ready for you. Right here is the command that we want to type in. So we'll go ahead and paste that right there. And there's the IP. So the difference between these two is this one will ban the IP forever. And if you want to unban the IP, this is the command for it. So I don't know why you want to unban the IP, but I just brought, um, gave it to you just in case if you are running, you know, a local attack. Um, if that, um, if these commands don't work, then do this command. This command is for the older IP tables. This will ban the, um, the IP address. And if you want to unban it, then you just want to place the D right there. And that is it. Um, so this is for the old IP tables, if you're having problems, if you have the old IP uh, tables version. So um, still can't get to the site. I'll just stop it, and I'll just try to refresh it. Still can't get to the site. Let's go ahead and ban that IP. Let's, let's ban this hacker. He's an asshole. And goodbye. So now the uh, the the attack is now being stopped, um, at least on our end. So 
on the attacker side, he's not able to get a ping request at all. So what we want to do first is we want to stop our web server. So as soon as we stop it, it would be uh, services, Apache 2, then restart. Oh, that's not the command. Then what is? Okay, so service Apache 2 restart. We're restarting the server, so the connection just killed itself. Now it's rebuilding back up. See, now, now we're able to get to the site. And on the hacker's end, right, let's, uh, the attack is still going. The attack is still going, uh, but our site is still up. So that stopped the uh, um, DOS attack. Let's go ahead and um, um, disable that. Um, let's go ahead and go back on the hacker's end and let's rerun the commands. Rerun the commands on that and rerun the commands on that. So now we're starting up the DOS attack again. And now let's go back towards our main um, server, our main computer. Bring that back up. Slide this on down. And look, our site's still up. Our site's just fine. The DOS attack is it, it's gone. Um, so if we go back towards our main command to see what's coming in, it's trying. He's 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 coming in, but it's not going through because we put in that uh, block on. Um, if we were to unblock it, you know, our site will go back down. Um, let's go back towards our um, our hacker's computer. Let's just disable that. So can't get through. Can't can't DOS anymore. Can't even load up the uh, the, um, the web page. See, and it's trying. I can't even ping the server because we're on an IP ban. Can't ping it. Can't do it. That's it. So, for a DOS attack, that's how you fix it. Um, for a DDoS attack, it's going to be a lot of IPs you're going to be banning. So, let's go ahead and uh, enable our desktop mode. Um, if you're getting DDoS attacked, basically your server is not up um, at all. Like, your website won't even load up. Uh, to find out if you're getting hit offline, you want to run this command. So, um, let's go ahead and clear that up. And this is for a TCP and UDP uh, connection. Uh, mainly, um, when someone's hitting you offline, it's going to be a UDP attack. Um, and right now, um, this is shows all the connections. Right here, this is probably... Um, a connection that's going towards our like it's updating something or it's talking to something I just don't know what that IP is to be honest with you but I'm just saying um, if you see multiple IPs like m multiple tons tons and um, you're getting hit offline and that means you have you don't even have you know your Firefox opened up or you don't have any services opened up mm -hmm. except for you're just trying to run your Apache server um, no FTPs, no nothing. Well, when you're getting hit, um, <laughs> you're, you're not able to do anything. But um, you'll see a whole bunch of IP addresses. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. So that's that's step one of securing yourself if you're getting hit offline. Um, I will have these commands here ready for you. And um, yeah, uh, just to refresh. Yep, our site's still on. So there's other types of methods of getting hacked, right? Right. Um, the next thing is we want to um, secure our web server. That's that's the first thing that we want to do. Uh, so we don't have to worry about getting um, DOS anymore. We'll go ahead and save that. And the next thing is we want to install some mods here towards our Apache server. We're, we're not getting hit offline anymore, and that's good. Um, we want to have our web server secured so there's not going to be any um, shells, any cross scripting, any um, SQL injections. This is where all of this comes into play. So the first thing you want to do of securing your web server is, okay, we need to 
get rid of all the stuff. And um, first thing you want to do is we want to install um, mod security. Mod security is a uh, it's an add-on for the Apache server. So um, unable to package doo -doo -doo -doo, unless if we already have it installed. I think we do. Okay, so if we go towards our next one. Mod security does not exist. So, bear with me for a moment. 